Hi everyone, it's Angela here from Cornerstone Auto and today I am going to show you the newly redesigned 2018 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. We are looking at the Sahara Edition, which is top of the trim level. You also have the Sport, the Sport S, and the Rubicon. On our lot here at Cornerstone, we have 57 different configurations between trim lines and other special edition packages, so we can really find something to suit what you're looking for. On the new redesign option of the Wrangler, one of the main things they did was get rid of the Jeep emblem. They have their signature seven slated grille, which really stands out, and it is their signature look. They also upgraded to halo headlamps, which are gonna be LED, and then you have your bumper with the tow hooks, and then you have LED fog lamps as well. Powering the Wrangler is a 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar engine that'll get you about 287 horsepower. With the redesign, they also added some vents on the side, as well as an elevated belt line. And then on the roof of the hood, you also see some other accent features. Taking a look on the inside of the Sahara, they did keep it standard with the removable roof, as well as the removable doors. But we also have the nice black cloth leather seats, and these are heated. And then in the center console, you will see a bunch of different technology options that we're gonna touch on shortly. In the back here, you do have seats for five in the Wrangler, so this is standard with the four door. You also have a USB outlet as well as a three-prong outlet in the center console. And then these back seats do fold down to give you more access for storage with just a quick pull. You have one of the seats down. Making our way to the back of the Jeep here, one really cool feature that the Wranglers added is going to be your backup camera. So you're gonna see that in the back of the tire here. And in order to get the tire off, you do have to remove the metal case around the camera and then you can take the tire off and then you'll be able to add the camera back. They also did LED tail lamps in the back. So they have an LED lights all the way around the vehicle. Taking a look in the trunk here, with the seats folded down, there's a lot of extra storage space, especially for some of those larger items. This vehicle does come equipped with the Alpine sound system, and with the new redesign, they moved the subwoofer to the right side. And below here, because obviously when you're taking the roof and doors off, you need a place to store your bolts. So they added those for your door, for your roof, as well as the windshield. And on the windshield, they moved it down to four bolts versus the 28 bolts in the previous year. And then down below, you also have your hitch for towing. Making our way to the side of the Sahara here. We have 18 inch wheels on the Sahara, but with all the different configurations and trim levels, there are many different wheels available. Just taking a look at the back there. And then this is the key for your Wrangler. You do have an automatic start there. And on the door here, we have the power locks and mirror controls. And then the driver's side is also a heated seat. Let's jump on in and check out the inside. With the redesign, Jeep integrated a lot of different technology into their Wrangler lineup, as well as made a couple other adjustments. One of those being your rear view mirror. They moved it from the windshield to the roof. And then it also has your SOS and your assistant button. Uh, one of the technologies they did integrate is going to be the 8.4 Uconnect screen. Here you are on your radio buttons. You also have your media and then your climate control. You also have your controls for your heated seats and heated steering wheel. The navigation, phone pairing, and then you also have your customizable app screen. This includes your Wi-Fi hotspot and projection manager, which is your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And then here you have some of your quick buttons. Below that you have your hard buttons for your dual zone climate control, including your heated steering wheel and then your heated front seats. And then you have your auto start stop feature, traction control, and hill descent. And then just below that, because the doors are removable, they did put your window controls in the middle with a couple other power outlets. And then we do have four auxiliary outlets for any upfitting you wish to do, like light bars or plows. Making our way to below that, you do have your shifter all the way down and over. You have your manual mode for any more of your, for more of your spirited drivers, as well as your four x four shifting. Making our way up to the steering wheel here, on the right, you do have your cruise control, your phone pairing and voice commands. 
And then you also have your information, driver information center, which includes your digital speedometer, as well as any vehicle information like tire pressure, coolant temperature, transmission temp, oil temp, oil pressure, and oil life. And then also you have your off-roading options of drive terrain and your pitch and roll. And then you have your fuel economy, your trip information, your start stop, your audio, any stored messages, and then your screen setup. So with all of the changes in the Wrangler, a lot of them have been received very well. If I missed anything or if you have any questions, give us a call at 763-441-2300. And don't forget to check us out at cornerstoneauto.com.